Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about neural network. So basically, what is neural network? How or why, how we can understand what is neural network? When we were developing program that can learn by its own or when we were moving towards a new era of automation. That is, our program can learn from its environment and at every point we do not need to instruct our program to perform certain tasks. Suppose there is some randomness that occurred in our program, then our program should be self-sufficient that it can handle that uncertainty. So when we were developing the process of automation, then we have the point that how we are going to develop this automation. So basically how our mind works on uncertainty. Suppose there is some uncertain, uncertain situation occurred, then our human minds can easily solve that type of uncertain problem. So whenever we were developing a computer or a process or a software that learn how to handle uncertainty. So basically two things are similar. That is how our brain works and how we are going to handle the uncertainty that brings the neural network. Basically neural network is highly motivated from how our brain works. Basically our human brain has 10 raised to power 10 neurons present in it and each neuron is connected to 10 raised to power 4 other neurons. So our uh, input from one neuron is passed to the other neuron. Suppose you are sitting and suddenly you, you touch a hot cup of tea. So how it basically works? Neurons at the tip of your fingers are present and these neurons pass the information to other neurons and so on. And this connection works so rapidly that within a nanoseconds you move your hands. So basically this is what a neural network is. Neural network is connection of multiple sets of neurons which pass information from one neuron to another neuron. For example, when you were touching the hot cup of tea, the neurons at the tip of your finger has the input that something hot or something sensation, hot sensation has been touched. Now this was the input for the first neuron. Then it passes the this information to other neuron that is it produces the output that something hot has been touched. Now this something hot has been touched is passed to the other neurons and so on and finally it reaches to the brain. So this is how neural network or how neural network theory developed. A neural network is highly interconnected network of large number of processing elements called neurons. In neural network we have large number of neurons. A neuron, a neural network can be massively parallel and therefore it is said to exhibit parallel distributed processing. We have some conventional computing that is we have write up set of program to solve some set of problems. In conventional computing we move step by step that is in sequential manner. A first process will be performed then second process and then third and so on. So it is sequential but neural network is massively parallel there are different sets of neural present like you have neuron present in one hand you have neuron present in other hands and different different parts of your body so neural network work in parallel parallel network so this so here parallel distributed distributed processing is performed that is um, different different neurons neurons are present at different different location and now these parallel neuron pass the information now if you are passing the neuron information in parallel distributed network then your information or computing the information will be very fast so neural network perform massively parallel computing so it is very fast Neural network can be taught to perform complex tasks and are intrinsically fault tolerant. 
neural network can be taught to learn different thing suppose when you first time touch the cup then you have the feel that i have touched something very hot and now i should remove the hand now again after 5 to 10 minutes you touch another hot thing then you will easily remove the hand because now your neural neurons have learned from the previous history that if something hot has been touched then you have to move the hand so neural network can be taught to perform complex tasks and are intrinsically fault tolerant these are intrinsically fault tolerant that is if a program have some fault occurred then these neural networks can easily manipulate the faults or, or recover the fault that has been occurred or how this neural network learn by its own we said our neural network learn by its own or learn from different different sets of information given so neural network learn by examples of which supervised and unsupervised learning are famous we have said that our neural network will learn from different sets of examples so now there are two different techniques from how our program is going to learn in neural network first is supervised learning and second is unsupervised learning what is supervised learning a teacher is assumed to be present during learning process which aims to minimize the error between target output presented and computed output it is similar to when you are learning that if something hot has been touched then you have to remove the hand it is a similar process like a teacher is always present at your head that now you you have sets of information and you have calculated some output now your teacher will say that whatever the output you have presented and what is the actual output uh, should be there so now it will compare and it will try to minimize the error between the output you have presented from learning and what is the actual output that is you can say supervised learning is when a teacher is present at your head and it says now this is your answer and your answer is matching 50% with the actual answer or it is matching 100% with the actual answer that is supervised learning when a teacher is assumed to be present unsupervised learning network tries to learn by itself or organizing the input that is there is no teacher present and you have to learn by your own now suppose for example no teacher comes to your college and you have to learn a subject then that type of learning is unsupervised learning that is no teacher is present to tell you that the output that you have presented matches with the exact output with how much percentage or your output is correct or not so unsupervised learning is when you learn by your own self that is no teacher is assumed to be present we have talked that in neural network neurons are present and these neurons are interconnected with each other so in neural network neurons are connected with the help of synapses and this these are this synap synapses can be electric chemical substances so now suppose you have input from this from some external source and this is your neuron now this neuron will give the output to another neuron now for this neuron it will be the input and now this process go on like first have some information based on some information it manipulates and now it processes to output this output will be output will be presented for other neurons in form of inputs and this process carries on so on till the final layer is achieved and in final layer we will give the real world output so this was all neural network in upcoming videos i will talk about how neural network works in working or what is biological neural network different different models of neural network thank you